Hey, what the hell, man? You just... You just tossed my rover like 30 feet. That is not allowed. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn and the Discovery Update. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we have lots of fun stuff to do. Uh, we are going to, uh, our main goal is to get our lab built uh, and then do a few other things related to that or maybe not related to that. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So I've actually got a lot of farming to do. I have several minerals that I need to replenish. Uh, I'm going to do some salvaging, but I'm going to do all that stuff off camera. There's a couple things I, was, couple things I wanted to do before I go do those things off camera though uh one of the things i'm very short on is aluminum and because we're going to go do some salvaging we're going to get a whole bunch more scrap so i'm going to take these three stacks of scrap and we're going to turn or convert that into aluminum in here right yeah so we can make oh wow nice we can make 150 so it looks like it's a one-to-one -one ratio Okay, that's actually great. So we don't really need to get aluminum while we're out and about because um, that's going to give us three full stacks. Okay, cool. So we got that done. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to make some crab stew because now we can do that. Um, and also, I made a mistake. Well, it wasn't really a mistake per se. It was just um, me being a noob. <laughs> um, when we were planting the the planter in the last episode, I, I mentioned how come I can't plant purple bears well you can the reason i wasn't able to plant those is because i didn't have them in my inventory so let's take a look and see what's going on here this uh is these are all apples okay so these are our apples these are all berries so these are purple berries the game just calls them berries but they're the purple ones these are all red berries growing this is potatoes this is carrots and then on this last table i have two more carrots and one potato growing and I think that's a fairly good distribution of, of crops. Now, we might also be able to grow some of the other, you know, stuff, too, that we find when we do our little discovery episode, which is coming up uh, as soon as possible after I get the really important stuff done, which, you know, means building the lab first. Okay, so we got that done. But we can now make crabs do with whatever else we have left in terms of carrots and potatoes in particular. Uh, and I've got, you know, tons of crab meat because we've just been, you know... Um, saving up that stuff so let's go ahead and we're going to grab the water here and we're going to grab a stack of crab meat and all the rest of the carrots and potatoes that we currently have um, now let's make some more meat stew two more pieces of that and i have a whole mess of meat stew made up so over a, a stack as you can see and so we'll wait for these two to finish and then we're going to make the best damn food in the game guys crab stew it's going to be awesome all right, so now, um, oh, hold on, let's just make 10 crab stews. So we can make a total of 10, um, and it's potatoes that we're out of. So we'll have to wait until we can grow more potatoes or find some in loot. Now, we still have some carrots left over, too, so we might as well make some steamed carrots while we're at it. We can make nine of those, and that's pretty decent food, too. It gives you 20 nutrition and a 10 quench bonus and 5 health bonus. So th this is a good topper off food. So you eat the crab stew, but if you're not quite all the way there, you don't want to waste another one of these. So you can just pop a steamed carrot or two to get yourself topped off. So it's great. Great, great stuff. Okay, so let's put all this back in here for now. And um, we still, and even after all that, we still have 50 meat stew. Now I'm going to start saving this because, you know, we need this as a base for crab stew. So I'm not going to eat that anymore. We're just going to eat, uh, like I said, we're going to eat uh, steamed carrots for topper and crab stew for our main meal and we're, we're going to be doing good man with some of the best food in the game here now um so let's take uh let's take one of these now um so we're down about a little over halfway on hydration so let's go ahead and eat a crab stew delicious and it completely topped us off beautiful 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 okay uh, so let's see, we have three more of those to go. All right, so I think that's really pretty much it that I wanted to show you for now. So we are going to be working on the the laboratory when I come back. Uh, so let's look at that for a second. So for structures. Um, so one of you guys was, or actually there was a couple different guys that mentioned in the comments that you could still build this stuff without the prerequisites. But I don't think that's the case because see how it's locked here? Um I mean, we could try and gather up all the resources and just see what it would do, but 
uh, as far as I can tell, you know, you have to have a depository and a satellite dish in place. So we, we're going to work on getting the depository and the satellite dish done first. After I get back, you know, from gathering all the, the resources, replenishing our supplies. Um, and then, but maybe before we finish, you know, the, the satellite dish, maybe we'll try and see if we can build the laboratory before we do the satellite dish. I don't think it's going to let me, but I could be wrong. So we'll see if that's actually a thing. Um, yeah, okay. So I guess that's all I have for you right now. I'm going to go out, gather up a whole bunch of minerals and some more gas as well. So we have a good supply of all of that stuff. Uh, and then I'll come back. We'll build our lab our satellite dish, our depository, our laboratory, and then get going, hopefully, on some vehicles. The very first thing I want to make in the laboratory is the crab bag. It is awesome. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn on the Discovery Update. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to build our laboratory. That is our main goal for this episode, and then whatever other kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. All right, so let's see. First off, let's turn our bloom off. Yes, indeed. You can set your clock by that. Um, I'm also going to turn off the the quest, though. Somebody was saying in the comments that you can find the comms log. Here, let me see if I can bring that up. Actually, there's a couple comments I want to point out. Um, a gentleman named S.B. Aopoy, uh, maybe? I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Uh, but he asked me why I wasn't using the the pick, um, the normal pick, and my response to him was that um, that the diamond chisel is easier and cheaper to make, which is true. But he then pointed out that the pick now does actual double the damage, or uh, I'm sorry, it's double the speed, um, which I guess is is the same thing as saying double damage as the diamond chisel. And he's absolutely right. This thing, guys, I took this thing out, and it's twice as fast as the diamond chisel. The reason I hadn't done anything with it sooner is because the last time that I tried the chisel, it sucked. <laughs> it was just nothing to write home to mother about. And so, you know, I just kind of didn't occur to me to, to try it again. Uh, but this is actually a superior mining tool. It's even better than the diamond chisel, and it can also mine anything with a hardness of 10. So it is essentially twice, uh, does twice the damage as the, as the diamond chisel. And the other thing about it that's kind of cool is that some nodes, like iron, seems to do this a lot. And I've also noticed it on, um, uh, what was it, titanium, I think? Or tungsten, maybe? Um, some of the nodes, like a, a piece of it stays in the ground and you can't get to it with the diamond chisel, but you actually can get to it with the normal, um, or, or, I'm sorry, with the, with the pickaxe. So let me see if I can demonstrate that to you. So... Here, we're going to go up here for a second. Uh, see if we can climb up this ridge without... Yeah, see if you get caught down in the crevices, then the rover doesn't do so good. So let's go over this way. I just want to find a, a diamond, or not a diamond, but a uh, an iron deposit and just kind of demo this really quick. So I, I mined uh, a lot of stuff off camera. I mean a lot. <laughs> it's a bit... A, a pretty hefty amount of time, you know, doing mining and stuff, and uh, I was hitting iron, and I left a node around here just so I could show this to you guys later. And I said to myself at the time, self, save that node so you can show it to the boys and girls later. But I didn't actually mark down the coordinates. So here, it's it's around here somewhere. So let's do this. Let's get out, go into F3, go to. Uh, high is it high density or medium density iron we'll select that we'll get our scanner on our toolbar here okay there should be an iron node really close by here somewhere because I didn't mine all of it we could probably do it with the molybdenum here but I don't uh, only a, there's only a couple of types of ores that actually seem to you know, get stuck in the ground where you can't get it with the diamond chisel, and iron is one of them. Tungsten is a little far away from here. That was the other one that I think I noticed. Okay. Do we have a couple of... Yeah, we got uh, one right up here. Okay, cool. There we go. All right, great. So, um, here's, here's the diamond chisel. 
It takes four hits to break one piece. Okay, here's the pickaxe. Two hits. Isn't that awesome? Okay, and then when you mine this out, there's still, you see how there's still one more little piece in there? Well, if you're using the diamond chisel, good luck. You're never going to get it. But if you're using the pickaxe, you can get it, which is really cool. So once again, I just uh, want to uh, shout out um, to SB Apoy. And again, forgive me if I'm butchering your name there, but he is the one that pointed it out to me. And I, you know, I hadn't even occurred to me to try the, the pick out. It should have because, you know, they've made so many changes. But, you know, there's so because of the fact that they make so many changes, it's just hard to remember to check everything, you know. But anyway, he's the one that pointed that out to me, and I really appreciate that because otherwise I may not have thought to try it, and I'd still be using the diamond chisel, which takes twice as long. So really, really nice. Now, there, the only thing that's bad about, and this isn't a major thing by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, it is less durable than the diamond chisel. So I would say the diamond chisel is probably maybe twice as durable. I can say that for sure that it's exactly twice as durable, but it seems to me you know, based upon the you know, amount of time that I've used the diamond chisel versus using this, that, you know, it's going to break about in about half the time. But that being said, it'll still last a, a long time. You can go out and get a lot of ore before you have to repair it. Okay, so that was a really good um, tip that was left by, um, by SB. SB Apoy. Uh, assuming that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so awesome. Now, um, the other comment that I wanted to point out is that someone was telling me that you can find the, let me see if I can figure out where that's at. Hold on a sec. Okay. Um, Al Carpenter s said that you can find the comms mission on the body at 8.4 minus 9 coordinates. Okay. So let's see. Uh, if it's 8.9, it's going to be up in the north. And then minus 9 is going to be just a little bit to the west. So that sounds like he might be talking about Alpha Refinery. Uh, so let's just drive up there real quick and see if we can actually find that. Because it would be nice to, to finish that quest. And then we'll, we're going to come back to the base after that. And we're going to get our laboratory built. And we're going to test something else with that, too, based upon some comments I've been getting. So let's go up to those coordinates first and then uh, see if we can find that, that comms link. Because I've never actually finished, you know, the, the quest on that. Okay, so we are in the vicinity let's go up here okay so we're at uh, 8.5 minus 4 he said oh he's he said minus 9 oh well okay that's gonna be way over to the west I, I, mean, I thought that was 0.9 okay so let's try and stay at 8.4 ish woo <laughs> and see if we can uh, get over there I'm pretty sure he's talking about alpha refinery but I'm not 100% positive so let's go check it out yeah alpha refinery okay um there we go okay so I have checked the body here I thought that we even did that in this series but I mean I've restarted so many times, you know, through the experimental updates and then, you know, this newest one that maybe I didn't. So let's go find the body, uh, which is here. And um, I want to also, let's see, we'll go to F4, find the comms log. Okay, so let's see if we can find it. Okay, so we got the key card. Oh, so the key card is the comms lock. Oh, I didn't realize that. Huh. Okay, so it, it, 
it continues on and, to, you know, to tell us to, to build a forge, which, of course, we've already done. Yeah, this just says this just says a low level clearance key card, which we used to actually need to open a door in the previous stable version. But it doesn't say anything about it being a comms log, though it could be because it is it looks like a flash drive. Huh. OK. Well, anyways, thank you very much, Al Carpenter, for pointing that out, because you're absolutely right. It did finish uh, that part of the quest. Um, again, I just didn't um, put two and two together there. So, all right. Well, if we wanted to continue that, we would build the forge and then whatever else it tells us tells, tells us to build. But I haven't, like I said, I haven't really gone past this point. Um, it looks like I missed salvaging one piece from the crash, too. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, interesting. Okay, well, that's good to know. Another great tip. I really appreciate the tips you guys are sending. It's very awesome. We've got a hydrogen vent here, but I don't believe I brought any barrels with me. That's too bad because we could have filled. Oh, I do have. Wait a minute. I do have one barrel. Oh, no, it's a broken barrel. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I'll take care of that later. All right, guys. I'll meet you guys back at the base. And we are going to make our laboratory. Let's do it. One of you guys pointed out also in the comments that there is a methane pool here down in Tumbo Basin. And there surely is. It's right here for anybody who wants to know. So, yeah. I don't need any more methane, though, so I'm not going to grab it. But there it is if you want to know. Coordinates are um, 0.6 lat uh, minus 5. No, minus, yeah, minus 0.6 lat. Minus 5-1 launch-ish. <laughs> Close enough. If you get that there, you should be able to see it. Those little tiny bees should not be able to bump this ginormous rover like that. It's ridiculous. Hey, what the hell, man? You just... You just tossed my rover like 30 feet. That is not allowed. <laughs> can't believe it. That is just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, anyway, let's uh, get back in here and park this proper. Stupid crab. All right, so let's see here. We have, um, I have, rather, mined up a whole bunch of ores. So we've got four slots of copper. We've got five slots of carbon. We've got four slots of aluminum, three of diamond, three of silver, two of uranium, uh, two of copper. Copper's a little bit lowish. I wish I would have grabbed some more of that when I was out, but that's okay. I think we'll be okay. Uh, two, two of gold, we got lead, we got lithium, we got magnesium, we got mercury. Um, nope, wrong one. Wait, which one am I in? Okay, three um, slots of, what's this, sulfur. Uh, four slots of titanium, two of chromium, two of cobalt, one little thing of plutonium that I got out in the desert, the deep desert. And do I have some in here? Yeah, and then we've got two more molybdenum, two nickel... To 10. This is all the rest of the 10 on the entire moon. Uh, so I've mined all of this. That's all we got. We got to be really, really conservative with that. Uh, two things of tungsten and two things of zinc. So we're doing really good with all that stuff. So let's go ahead and do uh, the usual where we load up uh, with one of each ore. Well, one stack of each ore. We'll take all of these ingots too. So we'll what, one iron, one carbon one of those one of those one of those one of those there 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 
there, 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 there. There, 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 and there. Okay, so we got one of each. And I also cooked a whole mess of meat in here. So we have 38 meat that we can turn into meat stews, which we can then turn into crab stews. And let's go on inside for a minute here. Let's put the light on. I want to... I'm going to put this in here. Uh, I should have put that away while we were still outside. This we can drop. And uh, Okay, so I think we're in pretty good shape. Let's go over here, grab these waters, and cook up a mess of meat stew, which we will then turn into crab stew. Okay. Now, over here, I want... Okay, I don't have any circuit parts. Uh, I've got a broken one. We don't have a good one. So I got some wire. We got some of those. We got some glass. Uh, we got some plastic. And I think... Yeah, let's grab this stuff, too. We might need it. I don't think we will, but we might. I've got all this, uh, the supplies to... We need rubber. We're really, we don't have any rubber at all, but I have um, the stuff I need to make rubber. So we should be fine on that. All right, so here's the thing. Um, you guys are telling me in the comments that we don't need to meet the building prerequisites. If we have the materials, we can just straight up make it. So we're gonna confirm that. I'm not, and I'm not saying you know you're not telling me the truth. It's just that this game, you know, is can be so buggy and so wonky that you know it wouldn't surprise me if it works for some and not others kind of situation. Uh, let's just eat one of those to top off because I don't want to eat a whole crab stew uh, for that. Okay. Oh, speaking of food, too, let's go here. Now, I'm I'm not able, for some reason, which I can't understand, um, I am not able to repair the rest of this. Um, so if I do begin repairs, see, it doesn't. It doesn't let me repair that little piece there and nothing shows up here for me to repair so I don't know why that is but and I went outside and tried to do this from outside and it didn't work out there either so yeah it's just kind of weird and it's it's not a big deal it's, this hallway is not actually sealed but it isn't a big deal but it's just weird that I can't repair it okay so we have crops that are ready to pick so what we're gonna do is come over here and we're going to uh, press G. Oh, wow. We got 20 apples out of that. That's, woo, that's really generous. F and B. Uh, oh, we only got 12. We got 20 out of the first two and 12 out of the others. That's weird. Is that correct? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Let's see how many uh, berries we get. So G, F, and B. Why do we get 20 out of two and 12 out of the other one? That does that's weird, man. Let's try the, try the red berries. G, F, and B. Okay, I don't know, maybe that was just RNG. Not really sure. Okay, these are our potatoes. So G, F, and B. Okay, and these are our carrots. G, F, and B. And then finally, we have one more thing with two more carrots and one more potato. So, carrot, G, F, and B. Okay, so we, fit, we, we picked our first harvest of crops from the biodome. And um, that's awesome. Look at all that food. Beautiful. Got lots of berries, too. I was hoping we would get a decent amount of, of berries because this is going to be way, way more convenient than going out and bonking a tree you know, just to make more patch tape or whatever it is we might have to do. So we are doing really good, you guys, with food. Like, really good. Okay, great. So, let's see here. You're still making the meat stew. And then, um, yeah, we can make another big old batch of, of crab stew when that's done. But let's go ahead and get geared up to do the laboratory, okay? So what we're going to do is go to F2 to structures... 
And so you can see the laboratory is grayed out. Now here's the thing. Um, you're supposed to build the depository, which we're going to do anyways, and you're supposed to build the satellite dish, which we're going to do anyways, because there's benefits in doing that for both of those things. But we're, we're going to see if we can build it without meeting the prerequisites, just to confirm that this is still not working the way that it's supposed to. All right, so we need 15 steel, 2 talonite, 4 rubber, and 3 6LV, 4V, something, something, um alloy there so let's head on out here let's get started with the steel so we need 15 of those it's gonna be a little more than 15 but that's okay can never have too much steel um does it show up over there yeah okay and then we need two talonites we're gonna need two uh, I don't remember what that other thing was. Oh, fer two ferrochrome and three six ALV thingamadoodles. So we do those over here. Okay, two ferrochromes and three of these. Okay, let's grab these guys out of here. And then the only other thing we need is rubber. So to make rubber, we're going to need hydrogen. Man, we've got a party going on out here, don't we? Um, I've got almost a full tank of hydrogen out there. But let's, uh, let's get these buddies out of the way. Hey, get away from my my thing there. Is that all of them? I think so. Sometimes a crab will spawn over here and come over the hill. All right, I think we're clear for the moment. So we need to go grab a gas barrel. And let's put that there. Yeah, this is 92% full. Well, it was 92% full. <laughs> and then... To make rubber, we need carbon, which we have. Okay, so let's make five pieces of rubber. I don't remember how much we're supposed to have, but I think it was two, but we'll make five. Because we'll need rubbers like steel. You need you need it for all kinds of stuff. Okay, and that gives us um, everything that we need to build the laboratory. The lab. The laboratory. Not the laboratory. The labor laboratory. The laboratory. Say it right. Goodness. Why in the hell am I saying laboratory? <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of room out here. The the laboratory does not connect to the habitat like the other buildings do. Um, and one thing you want to make sure and do when you build the laboratory is you want to make sure that the opening of it is not pointing towards your base or when you build um, machines, they'll spawn right on top of the base. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, so what we're going to do is, I'm just trying to figure out the best place to do it. I, this is a really nice flat area for parking like the spaceship and stuff when we make it. Um, so what we could do is maybe point it this way. All right, let's see if we can make this without meeting the prerequisites. We sure enough can. Look at that. Look at that. That is broken. <laughs> We're not supposed to be able to do this. That is like totally broken. Um, all right. Let's 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 turn it this way. And I want to hold it back this way quite a bit more. Is it lined up with... Yeah, I, th I think it's pretty well lined up there. Okay. And let's just get it up in the air a little bit more... Whoops, wrong button. 
There we go. All right. Awesome. So, it is confirmed. Yes, you can build... I'm, I'm assuming you can build anything without meeting the prerequisites. So, devs, if you happen to be watching my videos, got to fix it. I'm sure they're aware of it. <laughs> I'm sure they're aware of it. Okay, to finish the lab, uh, we're going to need to do the walls, but we're going to build the prerequisite items anyways, like I said, because they're actually useful. Um, and we want to do it legit. The only reason I built this first is because I want to just make sure that, it, you know, I wanted to confirm that I, I could still actually do it. Okay, so let's go back to F2. And we were supposed to make a depository and we were supposed to make a large radar installation. Okay, so let's do both of those. Let's start with the depository first. We're going to need some more steel. Now, the depository is basically has two functions. It's, an, it's a large outdoor storage container with many, many more slots than these guys. But it also, um, the mining bot is supposed to deposit ore into it for you when you set up a mining bot. Now, that was not working for me the last time I tried to use the mining bot um, on the last stable. I've never got to the mining bot on experimental because the updates kept coming out so fast that I had to, and I had to keep starting over because they made significant changes. So I haven't actually tried the bots out in uh, in uh, in experimental except for we did make the assistant droid and it still seemed to be broken in experimental. And one of you guys left me a comment earlier today, kind of pretty much saying the same thing. Okay, so let's make ourselves some steel here. Now, the thing about the depositories is they're pretty expensive compared to the very, very inexpensive storage that you can make inside the habitat. So I used to, you know, make several of, of the depositories, but nowadays, um, you know, with the way things are now, I wouldn't make a whole mess of these because you don't really need to. You can make the much cheaper storage. It doesn't have quite as many slots, but it still has a lot of slots. So now we need to make ourselves a computer screen, and it looks like that's a gunmetal. Um, yeah, okay, so gunmetal requires a bronze. Let's make that first. And then we can make the gunmetal. We want to go easy on the gunmetal because gunmetal is one of the few things that uses tin, and we have a very limited supply of tin. Which is another reason why you don't want to go hog wild making these things. Um, okay, so what's the, what was the other thing? Oh, right, computer screen. Okay, so to do that, we're going to need to make, first of all, a, a circuit board. And the circuit board is going to require a power cell, and it's going to require an electrum. And one, it requires one other alloy, but I can't remember which one it is. I think it's a dime alloy. Pretty sure. Let's just make one. Um, and, you know, if it doesn't require it, well, we'll probably need a dime alloy for something else anyway. Now, remember, there's two ways to get circuit boards. You can get it from salvaging, uh, or you can just make it straight up if you have the resources to do so, in, which is my case here, because we've got lots of resources now. Okay, so that gives us the circuit board, and then we need to go get a broken LCD screen, which I think I have some of those out here. And then we should be able to make it in the workbench. Okay. Um, one of you guys were telling me in the comments too, now that we're here, that there's also a suit upgrade in the workbench. I don't see it. There's no suit upgrade here. There was... I did see it here earlier, but then an update came out and it disappeared for me. So, yeah, there is no suit upgrade in my workbench on my particular game. So, yeah, not sure what's going on with that, but uh, just wanted to point that out. Okay, so, um... Oh, crap, we need... Oh, doggone it, we need to make two... <laughs> we need to make two circuit boards because we needed to make a circuit board to make the computer screen. Now we need to make another one. All right, so let's do another power cell and another dime alloy. Okay, so now we have everything we need to make a depository. So 
what I'm going to do for the time being is I'm going to remove this wall. And we're going to put the depository right here. Um, yeah, we can line, line it up with this. Well, well, no, let's hold shift and kind of turn it that way just a little bit so it's sort of kind of lined up there. And I'm going to put it right about there. Oh, doggone it. <laughs> I let go of the button too soon. It's all right. We can repair it with this. Okay, so you can see that this has 60 slots, um, so lots and lots of capacity, um, whereas these only have 12. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make two more of these to block this hole so monsters can't come through there. To do that, we're going to need some scrap. Um, I already have some makeshift patch tape and hinges. Okay, so let's uh, make two more of the cheapos. And I, I've mentioned this before, but I'll just uh, point it out again. Once we get the electro dome set up, all of this is going to be changed anyways. It's all going to be changed at that point. So um, let's go. I'm holding down shift. Get it right about there. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Um, there we go. Okay. Let's do another one. No, not one of those, one of these. Is that? Yeah, that's right. No, get up there. What are you doing? Cut it out. Okay, cool. Now, depository. Yeah, 60 things of storage. Very nice. Um, what I typically will do once I get my first depository down is I'll start putting all of the the empty barrels and jars in there because that stuff takes up the most uh the most space it really does and we probably have enough room to even put the the stuff that's full in here but for now uh we'll just put all these in and then that'll free up space in the scrap bins for other items later on if we need them Okay, um, so, you know, and we still have lots and lots of room in here for even more stuff. Depository, you got to love it, man, you got to love it. And remember, the second function is for your mining droid to deposit its ore, and maybe that works now. I don't know. We'll have to test it once we get to that point. It might work. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to hold my breath, we'll say. <laughs> we'll just see. Okay, we'll put the computer screen back in there and uh, the scrap. Kind of getting low on scrap, so I'm probably have to go do some more salvaging here in a bit. <clears throat> Put that in there. Okay, so we've made the depository. Now the next thing we want to do is make the satellite dish, and then after we make the satellite dish, we're going to build the walls on the lab, and then the lab will be done, and we can start making vehicles. So let's go to utilities and a large radar installation. So we need a circuit board, which we... Why do we... Uh, wait, why do we already have a circuit board? Did I make an extra circuit board? I must have made an extra circuit board. Okay, so we need four dime alloys. And we should have everything now except for the battery. Okay, so to make a battery, we need, I think we need two power cells. Um, and I can't remember what else. I know we need two power cells, so we'll, we'll make those first and then we'll figure out what else we need for the other. Oh, we got everything else. Okay. 
So we're still missing... Oh, we just used our one Electrum to make the battery, so now we need to make another Electrum. I was going to say, I thought I already had that. I did. Had being the operative word there. Now it's have again. Okay, we got everything. So, uh, satellite dish is useful because it is... Basically gives you an always-on scanner. So you don't have to do the handheld scanner, at least not within its range. I'm not sure how far the range is on it. Um, so let's, um, yeah, let's build it and then we'll take a look. So we want to go uh, large radar installation. This is actually probably a pretty good spot for it. We'll just put it there and maybe we'll turn it uh, this way because why not? Okay, so now notice my mini-map um, has... All right, guys, I had... um some, Somehow or another, I must have hit the, the button and stopped the recording there, but fortunately, I, I caught it before <laughs> I got too much more done. Uh, so the only thing that happened um, when the video cut off there is I was just mentioning that if you go into F3... How am I not behind cover? Is it, like, blowing right into the... There we go. Um, yeah, if I hit F3 and zoom all the way out, it covers this whole entire area. I'm not sure if it covers the entire surface of Proteus, but uh, it covers a huge, huge area, uh, which is really useful because you notice that I have iron selected. Now I can actually see that there's a whole bunch of iron off uh, to this to the uh, south of us. So, yeah, very useful uh, to have that scanner. And then, of course, um, it was useful to, to build the depository, too. Hey, while we're here... We have some stat points to spend. We, we don't have any more skill points or proficiencies, but we do have stat points. So let's bump up strength. We'll bump up health. And we'll bump up stamina. There we go. Okay. And then the other thing I did was I went ahead and built the walls of the laboratory. Um, I did show you when I thought I was still recording the materials for that, and then I gathered them up. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, they're all in place, and I don't want to take it back down because I'll lose some of the materials. But basically, you need something like the 30 AL4V. You need uh, 12 nickel chromium. You need something like, like 12 plastic, 12 rubber, and one other thing that escapes me right at the moment. Uh, that, that's, per, uh, that's per wall. So it was kind of expensive, but no, I'm sorry. That's not per wall. That's in total. That's in total. Sorry. My bad. Uh, and then there's six pieces. So I put those, uh, put those together. And then I was looking over at my recording software and I noticed it wasn't on. I'm going, what the hell? Uh, so fortunately, like I said, we only lost about maybe five minutes of, of actual recording, if even that. Okay, guys, look at this. We got our laboratory done. Yes. So the very number one most important thing we need to make first is the spaceship because we are blocked from from a, a few end game items that we want um, that we're not going to be able to get until we get up into space. So let's look at that first, but we are also going to build some other things too. But we're going to start with the spaceship. All right, so let's go to here we go. All right, so this is these are rather the the ingredients that we're going to need to make the spaceship. I'm going to actually write these down really quick. All right, we should have everything we need to build the spaceship. This is a a red letter moment, guys, red letter moment. So let's do it. Press F and hold it and boom. And we have ourselves a spaceship that's kind of <laughs> kind of parked and wonky a little bit. Now, the question here is do does this now require fuel it's supposed to but it didn't require fuel in the last stable version so let's it looks like they changed the model of it a little <clears throat> a little bit too i think yeah it seems it seems like it might be a little different than it was before i'm not sure okay well anyway let's hop in okay so this this ship is, uh, the way you use the ship is a little bit different than most other games, but basically you use your left and right, uh, right mouse buttons uh, for, for thrusting, okay? So right mouse button is throttle down uh, or up, and left mouse button is throttle up or, but, but meaning down. 
and then you just use your mouse keys to to steer okay so so s tips the nose up w tips the nose down um, a and d is it's kind of more of a of a bank than it is a rudder and you just um if you look on the lower, uh, on the right hand side you see that i have the throttle so the way this works for those of you who've never seen this before is if i press the right mouse button i start to slow down see the throttle's coming down and once i reach a certain threshold then it switches back to hover and but i'm still moving forward slowly because i have a little bit of throttle but now i'm hovering now i'm just you know um the more i press the right mouse button you get to a point where there's no forward motion and and now you're going to land but the thing about this that kind of sucks a little bit is it just it takes such a long time to land whoa that was weird it takes such a long time to land in the ship that it can be a bit of a pain in the neck here let me get forward a little bit so it doesn't look like they've changed that so see now i have to sit here and wait for several seconds for this ship to land <laughs> it takes a million years uh, so that's that's the really the only thing i really don't like about it the controls, you know, they're not bad once you get used to them. They're, they're just a little different. So I don't really have a problem with the controls. I just wish that it didn't take so long for it to land because, you know, when you want to fly this around and use you know, when you're using it to haul stuff, because it's a great thing to haul stuff in. Look at all the space this thing's got. Like a huge amount of space, way more, probably twi at least twice as much as the rover, if not more. Uh, so it's really good for hauling stuff around. But, man, it just takes so long to land is all. Uh, but nevertheless, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right, let's get back into the ship. And um, we're going to take off. And one of the things that I wanted to, to, to check is let's get all the way into the northwest. As far away from our base as we can. And I want to see if the satellite dish still works there. It, apparently, it doesn't work while we're in the ship. But if we hop back out... Uh, does it still reach all the way out here? Okay. So let's slow down. Like We're like way out actually in the deep desert now. So let's turn back this way a little bit. Oh, look at that frame rate tanking on us. That's terrible. Oh, <laughs> we landed on the tip of that tree there. Okay, let's go over this way just a little bit. Yeah, see, it just it takes so long to land. <laughs> I ho I hope they improve that, you know, in the few in in future releases. Oh, come on, man. Here, now, here's the other thing that's kind of a pain in the butt. If it doesn't like where you're trying to land, it doesn't let you actually land. Let's turn it this way. You know, which is fine and good, but when it takes 10 seconds just to f figure that out, it's a bit of a hassle. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's some weird graphic glitching. Okay, so it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like our um, satellite dish is reaching all the way to the other end of the map. So it must just be valid, you know, within a certain range of our base and not... It, <laughs> oh, shit. Did something just bite me? Oh, no, I'm, I'm hungry. Um, it, it, so it doesn't cover the whole map. It just covers a, a very large range, uh, though, within your, uh, you know, within your base. Okay, so now we, we figured that one out. Cool. Uh, all right, let's hop back in the ship. We are, we'll are we go into space in the next episode. We're not going to do that in this episode uh, because it's time to end this episode, actually. Um, wah! What the hell's going on with the frame rate? Goodness. Oh, this thing can be a real pain in the butt when you get stuck. If you get stuck in the ship, the best thing to do is <clears throat> stop the the throttle with your right mouse button and get back to hover and then most of the time it'll it'll pop out and you'll be fine 
Nah, this is terrible, man. This frame rate is nasty. I'm just trying to see if it's going to smooth out <clears throat> because otherwise I'm going to have to log out uh, after I land, of course. No, it doesn't want to smooth out. Stupid game. <laughs> Irritating. Oh, there, it just moved out. Nope. When, when I looked up in the sky. Okay, see, now if, if you look at my mini map, that's the border of the radar. Okay, cool. Very nice. Now, I do have another, now that I think about it, there's another thing I don't like about the ship, and that is that you don't have a camera, a free camera view. So, you know, so, so right now I have no way to look and see what's directly below me. So I, you know, I, I just, I don't know. So I just have to land. And then if I happen to land in the wrong place, I got to start over again. So that's a bit of an irritation. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to have to get back up. Let's turn around this way. Okay. So we're going to have to park it, You know, of course the shitty frame rates not helping the situation either. We're going to have to park, um, I don't want to park in front of the laboratory because we're going to build some other things too and the ship will be right in the way. So let's go off over this way a bit. Maybe just right on the other side of the rover. We'll set her down there. So yeah, it'll it'll take a little bit of getting used to the first time you fly the spaceship. But I mean it's not terrible. You'll you'll eventually get used to it. And then you'll just, you know, it'll be a little irritating when when you can't see, you know, what's below you and when it takes a million years to land, but it is what it is. Just more things that I hope, you know, that they'll improve in the in the future. All right, there's a spaceship. So Guess what we're going to do in the next episode, you guys? You guessed it. We're going to space. Going to be fun. Mr. Krabs, get out of here. Yeah, let's let's plan on going up into space in the next episode. Let's just do it. And then, then we'll do the Discovery episode after that in two episodes from now and do the Crab Mech and do that. Okay, I think that's the best plan because there's some things we need from space. Specifically, we need uh, Zirconium and we need Azurnium. Um, because those are two things we cannot get here on Proteus. And if you look here in the build menu, all of the bots and the hover bike require a journeyum. That doesn't. So we could, we could make the ground assault vehicle, the rover we already have. Um, the, uh, the mech doesn't, the mech's fun. We'll, we'll make that. We're going to, we'll probably make everything just so we can you see it. Oh, wow. So they really did change these. So the hover bike is the only thing now that requires a journeyum? Really? Yeah, they have changed these recipes. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um, but more important than even the journeyum, what we really need is the zirconium. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh, man. Frame rate. You got to love it. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go here. Thank you for watching this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.